Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to this channel. It's your girl here. My name is Raquel Blessed and I appreciate all of you for working with me since day one. And if you're tuning in right now, welcome to this channel. So as you can see in front of me, I am preparing some things. We want to do some experiments, but before then guys, uh, today's video is about testing um, the original or how to find out if your honey is the real one, real honey, original, fake, real or fake, real honey, yeah, so here I have a bottle with um, some honey, it's halfway, and um, here I have vinegar, yeah, it's a glass of vinegar, uh, small vinegar, I have two empty glasses, glasses of water and also here I have some water then two empty bottles and a bowl I have already filled with honey and a spoon so uh, we are going to find out if whatever we are having here it's real honey or not real honey but guys before then here in Burundi it has as I had told you, it's a land full of natural resources. So one of it is the honey. Actually, the honey is, is so original, and you find it in Eastern province, a place called Chankuzo, Ruigi, those places. And um, uh, now, let's go, let's try this experiment. So experiment number one, we are going to use water, and some honey so guys stay tuned you tell me if you have ever been duped while buying honey so we are going to add some just small water you can see clear water then we are going to scoop in some of the honey Can you see, guys? Let us put two spoons. So what do you see, guys? Uh, initially, original honey settles at the bottom. But if it is not it is a fake honey, you will see them uh, dissolving uh, on water, it dissolves. So this one of the experiment, original honey settles at the bottom. So you can check it out and confirm this is original honey. That is step number one. And guys, you will ask me why I'm not using uh, like two types of honey to differentiate between original and fake. The reason is this, in Burundi it is very rare to find fake honey because majority of honey here, it is natural, direct from the farms. And you know, the bees are the ones which produce honey. So experiment number two, let us use this bowl full of honey. So we are going to scoop and see what happens and I'm going to explain after if it is real or fake honey. Let us do this. What do you see guys? And there you can see a fly and there's someone who told me if you don't see a fly in something or natural food just know that that food has been added chemicals. So guys, what have you seen? Um, natural honey, if you do your research, it takes a long time, like some, you see how it is settling? It's like, a, it takes a, like a string, you see? So when you skip, scoop with a spoon, and then you see it's taking long to settle down, this one is real honey. 
This one is real honey, so you can see for yourselves. And there we are having a friend who's coming, who's come to enjoy some honey. So don't worry about it. If you see flies around, <laughs> something just know they are original, natural. Yeah, so that's the second experiment. Let's go to our third experiment. What about it? Uh, we are going to use water. And we put in some some honey. So I hope you are following along with me. Then uh, we are going to stir. What do you see guys? Original honey, it becomes very difficult to stir. We are going to try over and over until it is completely stirred. Can you see some things like a cloud and also settling at the bottom? Yet we are still stirring. So uh, that's one of the qualities also for real honey. If you stir, you'll find that it takes long to stir. And somehow it maintains the thickness, even when it is inside what it, it takes long to stir, even you can see on the spoon, it is still um, trying to dissolve in what. So normally uh, a fake one would have already been dissolved by now and we could not even have gotten any difficulty. You can still see on the spoon, we are still dissolving it. Yeah, so that's one of the natural, uh, of the features of real honey. And this is how it looks. And it's still thick, like juice, yeah. So our next experiment, I'm going to use the lid of the two bottles. You put some honey there. Then you just add some water. Sorry guys. And you try to shake. You can be trying this experiment at your place. What do you see, guys? What do you see? Do you see some patterns? Mm, let us still use the water. It forms some patterns like honeycombs. Uh, I don't know if you can see them. It forms some patterns like honeycombs. That way you'll know that it is real honey. Can it be seen? Is it seen clear? It forms some patterns like honeycombs. I hope you can see it. So this one shows you that that's real honey. So uh, the next experiment, we are going to use some vinegar, some water, and the honey. We put some honey. Some small water, some vinegar.
it forms like some cloudy cloudy and also we are going to try this experiment through shaking because it's still the same thing so let us do it here in this empty bottle we add some vinegar also some water and some honey we see how it goes you just shake it until it becomes thoroughly even so guys have you ever been duped when you go to the shops or the manufacturers you get to buy some honey then when reaching home you feel that the taste is very different from the usual one or do you even know that there are some honeys that are added sweeteners like sugar there are some word sugar some add things like glucose but you now you find that that one is not the real idea because a lot of nutrients and vitamins are lost. So let us see the outcome. It forms some bubbles. I don't know if you can see. You cannot see some bubbles. It has formed some bubbles. Can you see guys? Can you see those bubbles? Yeah, so those bubbles um, that has formed, yeah, that one shows you that this is real honey because they are bubbles that uh, have settled at the top and they are going to finish once it has settled. So on to our next one. We are just we just want to try doing it with the fingers so let us do like this they somehow you feel it is sticky and it has some density uh, it is sticky and it has some density you feel like something heavy and again guys uh, once you buy uh, honey and you find that it is not heavy like they somehow it has some it is heavy honey is heavy uh, and sticky it is very sticky and you can feel the density so that's another experiment just wash our hands Ah, also you can do this to find out if your honey is pure. Here we have it. Then you just do like this. Guys, what can you see? Can you sti still see inside the bottle at the middle what is happening? It is taking long. And you see guys so that one shows you this is real honey and also uh, you can see there is a very big gap that moves on slowly once you uh, put it upside down can you see that gap moving on slowly yes so that's another experiment and also others you can do is like if you have bread at home you can just have honey like in this bowl dip your bread inside if the bread turns out to be hard just know you have real honey but if the bread somehow falls inside the uh, bowl you find out that that's not pure honey i think we have done all the experiments so guys um apart from this i want to ask you something do you usually check honey you buy at uh maybe 
shops or manufacturers usually do you usually check the ingredients on because they are usually written somewhere do you usually check them and if not why have you not been doing it because you are risking your health and there are some honeys outside there we have some people who are very cunning they use it like uh, adding the sweeteners we have just talked about it or even they can add the glucose but at the end of it all, oh, you, you, when you buy such kind of honey, you are assured that all nutrients and vitamin will not be fully exploited. So guys, read before purchasing honey in your markets. Another thing, you all know honey is used for beauty purpose also, um, cosmetic industry, and also for your health. So if you take honey, uh, research it, you find that it has some health benefits like uh, brain, it uh, assists you uh, in thinking, it is also good for your skin, honey makes you energetic, I think it's because of the sugar, and also honey is proved to have healed some medical conditions like, not chronic ones, but I think also it assists. So. Uh, the medical conditions are like sore throat, if you have a flu, fever, um, cough, dry cough, you have medication here, natural. So guys, if you come to Burundi next time, don't move out without testing the honey. Also you can buy honey and go share it with your family, friends and relatives. Then tell us, what do you think about Burundi honey? Very natural. But remember, your health is your wealth, so stay fit and also learn to eat natural foods. Until next time, we are out.